Uh, 10k in 27 minutes. He's commentated on the London Marathon since I was about, well, three. Uh, and basically the voice of running. So it's a massive honour um, that he's here today. Um, and his name is Brendan Foster, and I think you can give him a massive round of applause. This is just like the BBC commentary box. <laughs> but I just wanted to say very few words. I'm really, really impressed with what I've seen so far. And when I go back to the 70s and 80s, when we were running, when I was running, running was only an elite sport. And when you went out in the car, or you went, or you're on the, you're driving along, or you're walking along, if you ever saw anybody out running in those days, you knew who they were because there were so few of us. And when you went out running in those days, people used to shout at you and shout up oh, one, two, and marathon, marathon. And the thing, the best thing that's happened in this sport is that that loads and loads of people have taken part in the sport. And events like the London Marathon and the Great North Run, which we organise in the northeast of England, we've even got we've got an entrant there who ran, <laughs> we've run, has run a few times in the Great North Run. And so basically, the the sport is now a democratic organisation. People all around the country of all shapes and sizes are taking part in running. It's not the cool thing to do in some parts of the world, but it's definitely a pretty cool thing to do in this part of the world. And the London Runners Club, it's not even a club really, it's just a, a, a collection of runners. The London City Runners is a fantastic example for the whole sport. And I think this is, a, this is something which should be studied and copied and then taken around First of all, taking around the UK for what you're doing here, and also then taking around the world. And you're part of the initial thing, which is about enjoying running, doing it at the best of your own abilities, as much as you want to do, socially and otherwise. It's fantastic for me to see this. It's fantastic for me to have seen the sport grow from nothing when, when literally nobody did it. And now everybody does it, and that warms my heart when I see it. And I don't want to get in the way of your run tonight, but we organize an event in the northeast of England called the Great North Run. It's the biggest mass participation in the event in the country. It has been since its inception in 1981. I know there's a little event in London which happens, it's pretty good. Uh, but ours has always been bigger. Not sure it's, only been, it's ever been better because theirs is like the Rolls Royce and we're kind of a cheap forward. <laughs> and I, and I, I decided that I would bring along a, a painting that's, that a guy did. Um, famous northeast painter, a painting of the Great North Run. And I'd like, I'd like this to leave this behind on your, on your wall. And if ever anybody wants to take part in the Great North Run, and they're from the London City Runners, go through the boss, he knows us well. We'd be happy to have you join us. We'd be delighted to have a whole group of you running in the London City Runners group. That would be a marvelous occasion. Um, it's a long way north, and I know you, lots of you won't know how to find it, but we'll help you. <laughs> but thanks for tonight. It's a pleasure to see uh, uh, an initiative like this taking off and, and setting a standard and setting a tone. Because I've already seen a few things here, which I think I would like to tell a few people in the north of England. They've got this idea. They've got a, they've got a place under the arches. And there's a place in Newcastle, a, a club called Tangbridge Harriers. And there are lots of arches like this that they could I'm sure I can come down here and steal a few of your ideas. But uh, we won't steal too many of them tonight. We'll let you go out for a run. But I hope you, I hope you do give this pride a place and it's given with the best of my open intentions. Good luck for the future and thanks for tonight.